Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Pinewood Hills. Although we're not actually in Pinewood Hills, we're building for Pinewood Hills. I'm in this really weird state at the moment, so really wanting to play Planet Coaster. Um, the Theme Maker's Toolkit and just uh, the Magnificent Rise DLC come in and saw that. I'm hype, 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 but I just can't play in Pinewood. It's just, <laughs> the, um, the performance is just terrible, unfortunately. Um, but the good news is that on the live stream... Uh, that was showcasing off some of the Magnificent Rise DLC stuff the other day with Sam Denny. They did say that they are aware of the uh, the, the performance issues and the uh, 3D gizmo issues and they are uh, fixed, or at least better, and the uh, the fix for them is coming with the free update that will come alongside the, uh, the, the Rides DLC. So uh, that's good enough for me to think, do you know what, I will do some external work that's going to go into Pinewood. So we're actually taking a bit of a break from the area that we've been working on recently and going back to uh, the fairy tale, uh, fairy book lands ride, I don't know what you call it. I'm not making an, a, a booby here, by the way, that's going to be an eyeball. Um, and, uh, and working on some more scenes for that, basically, because these are really easy to, as long as you've got an idea of the scale, uh, these are really easy to build outside of the game and then import in because they're all very much sort of stuck down set pieces and it looks okay that they're a little bit sort of out of place and stuff like that. So that's kind of what we're going to go for uh, here. So I've put the um, the worm down to give me an ideal of the scale. And now we're building a dragon. I don't know if you remember, but ages ago when we first started building this ride, I said that I wanted the last thing to be a big old dragon. And I looked at the in-game ones and I decided that they were too big. Um, uh, you'll notice there that I just placed them down. And actually this one's turned out to be much bigger. <laughs> or about the same size at least. But, <coughs> excuse me. Um, what I, uh, what I, what I... I've realised, uh, after looking at them, I cut a little bit of that footage out, but uh, really, it isn't the fact that they're big, it's the fact that they're very well animated and very beautifully uh, designed and stuff, and that's what made them look out of place. It wasn't the fact that they were large, it was the fact that the, ho the, the whole dinosaur was there, the whole dragon was there, sorry, and the neck moved down and everything, it was just far too high budget for us. So, actually, if you go to this sort of, uh, using these art shapes to create... I mean, I don't know, it's fiberglass, I suppose, is what they would be made out of in real life. Uh, this big sort of fiberglass dragon that just kind of sits there, and maybe at one point his neck moved back and forth a little bit, but now it's a bit broken, and uh, I'm playing around with with the idea of some smoke coming out of his mouth, again, just some sort of like light uh, water vapour or something, uh, whether or not... Because the problem is, is, it's a very fine line, you see. I want this kind of realistic run down a little bit. This has probably been here since the 80s. It's a bit tired, but it's, you know, they haven't really got the budget to put anything in its place. Um, so that's kind of the theme I want to go for. But then also, I don't want it just to be crap, you know? Like, you still want things to work and, and look good. So it's a difficult sort of line, uh, tightrope to walk, I think, with when you're doing this sort of realistic park as to what level of, of jank you really go with it, what level of, level of sort of things working or not working. So here, you know, the, the, there's a bit of growth around it, you know, under the, under the feet there that's tricky for them to get to. It's growing a little bit of weeds and stuff, and that's fine. But, you know, at some point you still want things to, to look okay. And I think uh, a little water vapor thing would probably work out quite well. Uh, so there's the dragon. He's going to go in a little while. Uh, now we're working on um, the the finish. In the in the last, I think we did it in a live stream. We actually worked on uh, Hansel and Gretel as one of the set pieces. Um, and I, I, we didn't we did Hansel and we did Gretel and we did the gingerbread house, um, but we didn't do the witch. Now I'm pretty sure in the original story she actually gets put into an oven, but I didn't couldn't really figure out a nice way of doing that with it being outside of the house because the house is a flat flat pack sort of shape really so we needed something that would fit outside the house so I'm changing it a little bit and doing a cauldron okay so hopefully a little bit of artistic license is allowed here uh, please let me off and also I, I just got this image in my head of a big pair of spotty bloomers sticking out of a of an oven of a cauldron and thinking it looked really good so uh, here's what we're doing here she ends up having the legs too long so we make a little sort of stumpy legs um, and do you know what after playing around with the theme makers toolkit and figuring out blender and doing some stuff like that it's quite nice to just come back into the game and mess around with art shapes um, I, I, I actually find it quite fun to try and create stuff out of art shapes um, and I think this kind of thing these sorts of vignettes of, of um, cartoon characters and, and nursery rhymes and stuff, they actually lend themselves quite well to art shapes because they give off this really sort of plasticky, shiny feel. I know art shapes aren't great for a lot of things in the game because of that sort of uh, shiny nature to them, but here, when you're making these sort of big fiberglass shapes, 
um, for a kid's ride. I actually think the art shades work pretty well. So it's quite fun to kind of uh, use them as best we can. Oh, look, we're in Pinewood Hills. Um, I don't spend long here, so really just want to place these down. Um, I don't know if you can see in the top corner there is an FPS reader. And, and sometimes it's not so bad. Sometimes it'll get up to like sort of anywhere between high teens and 25, 26. And, and that's okay. That's playable. The graphics are set to low now. Um, and the game is paused, obviously. But apart from that... Uh, oh, it's not paused here, actually, because it wasn't too bad. But I'd pause it if it gets really bad. Um, but that's playable, you know. So, like, mid-20s FPS. It's not awful. It's a, it's a decent enough experience. Um, and understandably, because of how large the park is and how much is going on, that's okay. Uh, but every now and again, it will drop down to two, three, four frames. And it's just unplayable. Just unplayable. So uh, um, I try and spend as little time here as I can at the moment. It's more just about setting these pieces out and figuring out where they go. Um, the still right still needs a bit of work. There's a couple of spaces for a couple of nursery rhymes, so uh, I am going to go back to the uh, the videos we did on this and see what people suggested. But of course, you know, if you did miss those or if you thought of a new one or just want to remind me, feel free to pop any suggestions in the comments of this one. Little spaces here. I'm thinking maybe we could do a spider, like a little Miss Muffet or Incy Wincy spider or something like that. Uh, but here's the sort of big final one. And I wanted him to kind of sit so that there was um, enough space for us to get a, a book at the end, say in the end as well, which we do in just a moment. Uh, Nicola came in at this point and said, oh, that's like a big lizard. I was like, it's a dragon. And she was like, oh, well, if it's a dragon, it needs to have spikes in its head because that's what makes dragons look like dragons. And I was like, ha, nerd. But she's right. I did, I'd Googled some dragons and, and yeah, they, they all have... They all have spiky heads, so we added some spikes to the dragon there. Um, so we're just copying this over from the original. This was originally said in a land far away, but we wanted it just to just say the end. Um, this looks jank, but, I, but I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. I could, you know, now I've kind of figured Blender out a bit. I could probably spend a day and remake this in Blender, but really part of the fun for me with Planet Coaster or in fact the, the total fun with me for Planet Coaster is using it as a Lego set really you know and building things so although I have been using the Theme Makers Toolkit um, I'm very much in the for the idea of using the Theme Makers Toolkit to make stuff that you really just couldn't do in the game very well so you know the things I've made already those small signs the mop bucket things like that it's just stuff that I've tried to do in the game and just not been able to uh, here I start work at the station I'm still not convinced what I'm going to do with this station whether to keep it open or or, cl or a complete building or, or kind of 50-50. Um, I, I did know that I needed a wall here because the ride comes past. Um, so what I'm thinking is this wall could become into into spider. We could do a guttering on the wall and have a spider at the bottom of it and maybe a couple of cheap water effects or something. So that's what I'm thinking there. Um, here then kind of figuring out where the path goes really starting to think bigger picture now because we're starting to come towards the end of the park now really as far as uh growth is concerned i'm looking at having one more area that's um sort of modern day uh build that uh has like a, a big maybe not coaster maybe we might do a log flume or a rapids or something but a, a big expensive expansion that the kite that we could cap off sort of like the the noughties area and um, that's kind of the idea but here one thing i realized is we have the the stage there and the stage has got lorries and also would need access to lorries or, or trucks or whatever you want to call them so i realized that at some point we're going to have to get a road in here so i've started doing some basic layout for where the road comes from the main road which will get which is running here or, or at least the sort of main uh, main throughput from the car park um, and then actually goes through the park and it's going to be interesting to to kind of figure out how that uh, infrastructure works with the with the path going over it and stuff and making it look as a little bit sort of tied in so you can't see too much of the backstage but you might see a little bit uh, at this point I again i don't know if you can see the fps meter here but the, the part drops down to two or three and i'm like right yeah i'm done <laughs> uh, so there we go that's what we get done today <laughs> here's a um, couple of glamour shots of the bits we've done again not a massive video, but while the game is running like it is, it's very difficult to do any major expansion. But I hope you like the dinosaur, uh, the, the uh, dragon. I'm really pleased with how he's turned out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, you can give us a like. It really does help out the channel. And if you're new here and you'd like to see lots more creative gaming for grown-ups, don't forget to click subscribe. Any thoughts, queries, or suggestions, you can pop them down in the comments. If you fancy a chat, you can find me on Twitter. I'm at John T. Sparrow. And if you'd like to join in with the Geekism community, you can do so over at our Geekism Discord server. You'll find the link for that in the description. Thank you so much to all of our patreons uh, with their generous pledges at patreon.com slash geekism they make these videos possible and don't forget to check out the affiliate links in the description you get yourself some cheap games and other goodies whilst helping out the channel at the same time thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one